Good morning. Welcome to our Ishini Kakushini Day service. It's so nice to see all of you here today on this beautiful, sunshiny day. The ringing of the kancho signifies the start of the service. Please sit quietly. Please rise for the meditation, followed by the chanting of the Vandana and Tisarana by the congregation in Pali and English. For those of you who are new to our service, you can find it on page 165 of this brown Praises of the Buddha book. Reverend Sumikawa will start the meditation.
Please be seated. We'll now have an Eshini and Kakoshini service aspiration by Reverend Sumikawa. It is with deep gratitude to Eshini, whose letters that were found 100 years ago revealed in the Nimbutsu teachings guiding the life of a real living person, that of Shinran Shonin. We learn from those letters how deeply Eshini cared for her husband and children while living apart from him as he was pursuing his lifelong studies. Through her harsh life, she rejoiced in the Nimbutsu path through difficult conditions. We rejoice in the memory of Shinran's daughter, Kakushinni, because had it not been for her, his teaching might not be available for us. She kept the memory of her father alive by using land that was made available through her second husband to create a memorial. Her lineage continues to this day through her son and succeeding 25 generations with the present head of the Honganji, the Monshu Kojum Otani. Namo Ami Davuts. Namo Ami Please turn to page 47 in this red Jodo Shinsu service book for the Sutra Sambutsuge. Oh, uh -huh. 
for the Gatha on this morn on page 119 in this brown praises of the Buddha book.
Please be seated. This morning, our guest speaker is Reverend Kumika Soga. And Reverend Sumika will introduce her. Morning, everyone. It's nice to see all of you here this morning. We have such a crowd today. Wow. <laughs> that's, that's really nice to see. Well, this morning, we're very happy to, to have uh, Reverend Kumika Soga uh, here as our guest speaker for Ishini and Kakushini Day. Reverend Soga is from Saga Prefecture in Japan, and she graduated from the Ryukoku University in Kyoto with studies in Buddhism and completed a correspondence course from the Central Buddhist Institute, which is also in Kyoto. In 1984, she received her Tokudo first ordination, and later that year married Reverend Jeffrey Soga, who is a resident minister of Waipahu at this time. And they relocated to Hawaii in 1985 and began serving the Hopahonaji missions of Hawaii. Reverend Soga received Kyoshi secondary ordination or certified full-fledged ministry in 1996. She then served as a minister's aide under Reverend Jeffrey Soga at the Lahaina Honganji, Hilo Besuing, Papaiko Honganji, Honomu, Honohina, <laughs> Papalo. <laughs> she taught Japanese language at the Hilo Besuing and Wailuko Honganji as well, and was a Japanese drill master at Pahoa High School. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> well, she currently works at the Sakura House Adult Daycare Center in Honolulu as an activity aide. Reverends uh, Kumika and Jeffrey Soga have four children, Koshing, Maitri, Michelle, and Kirana. And now they have two grandchildren, Kose and Rui Soga. Reverend Soga, please. Uh. Good morning. Of course, I, wa I don't want to wear a mask, but I just want to show to everybody watching. <laughs> right? You know, I have a good friend. She lives in Fukushima. She's a minister's wife, but not her. Her husband, she made, he made for me. So very matching song. <laughs> so inside the temple, I always wear this one, this one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so please put your hand together. When we say Namu Amida Butsu, the country's Buddha throughout the ten quarters surrounding us a hundredfold rejoice and protect us. Namo Ami Dabutsu wo tona oruba, Juppo Murio no Shobutsu wa, Hyakuju Senju Inu Shite, Yorokobi Mamori Tamo Nari, Namanda, Namanda, Namanda. So once again, good morning, everyone. Thank you for your attending this Eshinni and Kakushinni Day service. So this is second, uh, maybe third time I visit Windward Buddhist Temple. First time I came to here 37 years ago, old temple. 
I think Levin Sumi Sensei was a minister. And, and seven years ago, I visited this new building with other minister's wives. Yeah, thank you this time. Uh, enjoy. We eat. And I think so. This is third time so I visit. Before was Kaidua Honganji. So now, Wind World Buddhist, Wind World Honganji Buddhist Temple. That's good. Yeah. So I'm from Waipafu. So Waipafu we call Lee Ward. Yeah? Lee Ward. <laughs> oh, okay. Across the mountain, yeah, I came to here. So this is the first time I drive by myself come to here. I don't know Kailua. <laughs> what? But, yeah, nowadays, Google map. <laughs> yeah? So I really appreciate Google, Google because my sign do work in Google. Yeah, Google pay his salary, yeah? So my daughter uh, used to work at uh, Stanford University, but I think tomorrow she start new job at Google. So, so, so I call them, oh, Google couple. <laughs> G, GG couple. <laughs> so, but I really appreciate, so this is Google Map. So I, I can reach. <laughs> But thank you very much. So first time, uh, okay, so I think some member are uh, first time to see me, right? First time. Yeah, sometime I introduce myself. Hi, I'm Kumika Soga. I'm Reverend Jeffrey Soga's wife. The ma many people say, Oh, you are Oksan. You are Mrs. Soga. I know your husband. He's tall, bald head, <laughs> and he likes to <laughs> alcohol. <laughs> or, oh, he's a, he's a good singer, karaoke singer. Yeah? Yes. Yeah, I know. Kukino-san. Where's Kukino? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's good guy, <laughs> singer too. Yeah, he's good. And some people know my son, Koshin. I know your son. He's very color head. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, my husband and my son, maybe he does something behind me. <laughs> so, so, but, so, but, I'm, so this is first time, so thank, nice to meet you, everybody. Usually, uh, Shinide and Kakshinide service, not many men surroundings, yeah? But today, I'm glad, plenty. Yeah, church mostly ladies, right? <laughs> but wow, so Choto, I'm ashamed to speak in front of lady. Okay, well, time very quickly. And almost five years passed since Reverend Soga and I moved to Oahu from Big Island. About two years, we enjoy Oahu life with COVID-19 pandemic. Okay. So how was your two years under the pandemic? But or not bad. I had many Honganji members pass away during COVID-19 pandemic. I lost my father-in-law too. <laughs> it is very sad that many people lost their loved one and couldn't attend funeral service or couldn't attend happy occasion. So my first daughter tried to marry May 2020, but they canceled yeah, because of the COVID-19 pandemic. 
also my husband's kanleki party. You know kanleki meaning? Yeah, 60 years birthday. We tried to make a big birthday at Waipa Honganji, but couldn't make it. So shikata ga nai, ne? I think a little more time we need to COVID-19 pandemic settle down. So, but let's enjoy our daily life positively. Ganbari mashou. So today, I would like to share my second cousin, Atsuko's life, who was spent wonderful life with Amida Buddha. You know who is Amida Buddha? Right? So center. <laughs> so Atsuko and I were very alike in our backgrounds. So Sensei mentioned for me, I'm from Saga, Kyushu Prefecture. So my hometown and her hometown are surrounded by mountain and only seven miles away. So we are both the second daughter of minister, Honganji minister. So Atsuko is one year older than me, so we go to the same high school two years. And we would talk every day at school. Also, we had similar backgrounds, minister's daughter and second daughter, and but our personality and uh, they, uh, and they don't look alike. I was short, chubby, and not smart. But Atsuko was tall, pretty, smart ladies, and a very kind girl. I was proud of Atsuko school. Yeah, she's my second cousin. But on the other hand, I was envious of Asuko. Ah, Waina, she's tall, but I'm not. So like, but one day, Atsuko's mother got a stroke and became parasite on one side of her body. So Atsuko couldn't go to a faraway college because she had to care for her mother. So she went to a near community college and became a preschool teacher. In my case, my parents are healthy and I could go to Kyoto and study Buddhism at Ryukuk University. And when I worked at Nishihonganji headquarter, I met Reven Soga and married and came to Hawaii in 1985. So Sumi Sensei is classmate with my husband. So 1987, uh, 1957, so Atsuko's mother passed away at temple while being watching over by her family peacefully. One day, I received a telephone call from my mother. She said, oh, Kumika, I'm glad. Today, Oto-san and I went to Atsuko's wedding ceremony. At last, Atsuko found a nice person. Her husband is a nice looking Higashi Honganji minister <laughs> and is also a journalist. How lucky Atsuko is. Wow, the sun great. Yokata ne. I was so glad to hear the good news because Atsuko was a little bit late getting married, so because she was taking care of her mother. So, yokatta, yokatta. So, one side, but I'm very envious Atsuko because 
Mm, she got a nice looking ministers, also journalists. Wow. My husband tall, but no, not like, not, I cannot say handsome. <laughs> so, wow, you cut the knee, but other side. But two years later, Atsuko had a baby boy. You know, in Japan, Tempo need a boy, a baby boy. Yeah. Wow, first baby, baby boy. Wow, that's good. So I thought her marriage life was going well. But after she had a baby, she became sick. So she went to a doctor, and her doctor told Atsuko, you have cancer. So she had cancer of the nose around here. So as soon as hospitalized, she had to have surgery and chemotherapy. After the surgery, my mother visited Atsuko, and that night my mother called me with a sad voice. Achan, Atsuko was a pretty girl, but her face is swollen. So poor Atsuko, Kawai saw that that. I couldn't believe it, and I wish with my mother that she would get better soon. Yokunarimasu yoni. After a few months, I got a phone call from my mother again, and she said, today I went to Atsuko's temple for a funeral. Wow, did Atsuko pass away? I asked my mother with my heart beating fast. Ah. So my mother said, no, not Atsuko. Her husband died. He passed away in a car accident. I went to his funeral. Atsuko doesn't know about his death because family are afraid that her condition might worsen. So her father told Atsuko that her husband went on a business trip and wouldn't be able to come and see Atsuko for a while. How sad for Atsuko. So my mother and I cried. Nakimashita. Few days later, Atsuko thought something was strange. Nani ka okashi, something was strange and decided to call home. And she found out that her husband had died and his funeral was gone, was done. Atsuko became very depressed and tried to commit suicide. But she couldn't do it and Atsuko was monitored. One day, Atsuko's father visited her, and that time, Atsuko shouted to her father, Otoho-san! Dad! Why you didn't tell this pass his passing? So I couldn't attend my husband's funeral, and I couldn't see his remains. I have not been able to even carry my baby for so long. I want to die, and I go to the Pure Land. I want to see my husband one more time. She cried and cried. So Atsuko's father didn't say anything at first, but 
he spoke in a quiet voice. Atsuko, I'm sorry. Sumangkata not. I'm sorry. I cannot help you anymore. But listen, kikinasai. Your mother were to see you right now. She would certainly be very sad. You were a proud daughter to your mother. Omae wa jiman no musume datta. Your husband will feel the same too. He had a tragic death, and if he were to hear your voice right now, he would weep and wouldn't be able to go to the pure land. And you die right now? Who will take care of your baby? After saying this, Atsuko's father left her room. A few days later, Atsuko's father visited her again. She sat down and smiled to her, to her father and said, Otoko-san, arigato. Thank you for coming. I'm sorry about the other day. Dad, Otoko-san, I had a dream. In my dream, Okan-san appeared. But she didn't say anything. She only looked at me with a sad expression on her face. The next day, I wake up. I remember memory of her. Okasan no koto omoidashita. She suffered from a long time from stroke. But she never complained about her sickness. She was always smiling and appreciate every day of her life with Namo Amida Butsu. Namanda, Namanda. Arigatai, arigatai. My husband was the same. Since I became sick, he would always encourage me and take good care of me, and also he take care of our children. I'm ashamed of myself. Watashi hazukashite. I'm ashamed. Oto-san, I'm sorry for what I said. I will try to make everyone happy like my mother. So please watch me and support my family. Of course, Atsuko's father was so happy. Atsuko, I'm glad to hear that. I will help you. I will support your family. No, Shinpai, don't worry. But don't forget that it is not only me. Everybody is also supporting your life, even your mother and your husband. Amida Buddha is always next to you with great compassion. How grateful we are. Arigatai na. So after that, Atsuko recovered from cancer, and she lived with her baby and parents-in-law with peace free. Even she became a minister like her mother. After my mother passed away, I couldn't keep up her family's what they're doing, so I couldn't know her uh, current situation. Yeah, because my father not called me 
<laughs> yeah, always, all, every family, mom talk to children, right? So I don't know what's going on. August 28, 2019, so my father passed away suddenly in his bed, age 92. Fortunately, I could return home and I was able to attend his funeral. At that funeral, I met Atsuko's younger brother, and I was able to hear the news of Atsuko. So her son grew up and became a minister, and he married and got children. Atsuko had a lovely daily life with grandchildren. Ah, yokata! I was glad and comforted from bottom of my heart because she suffered cancer, she lost husband, but wow, now she's happy. So February 15, 2021, last year, I received an email from Atsuko's younger brother. So he said, Kumika-san, this is a sad news. My sister Atsuko passed away suddenly in her bed, just like your father. It is very sad. Now, Atsuko, who lived a temperate life, Less in peace alongside her husband. She enjoyed life with Amida Buddha because many precious meetings supported her life toward to the pure land. Thank you very much for your long time relationship. So take care of yourself with God's show. Okagesama de Ane wa Haran ni michita jinse no naka ni mo Iro iro na hito tachi ni sasae rare ta Shiawase na onenbutsu no jinse o ayumase te itadakimashita Arigatou gozaimashita Kumika san mo okarada ni kiyo tsukete O genki ni o sugoshi kudasai She passed away, age 64. So today, I shared Atsuko's precious life. Hearing her story is a sad, but a good opportunity to think or reflect about our own life of Nembutsu Namo Amida Butsu. And she was a wonderful role model for us. I'm 64 years old now, the same age with Atsuko. I don't know what's happened to the next, but surely I remember Atsuko's smile and I want to uh, my Nembutsu life, just like Atsuko. So today is Eshini and Kakushini Day service. So Sensei mentioned who is Eshini, who is Kakushini. So I'm not like Eshini-sama. <laughs> my daughter is not like Kakushini-sama, but it's okay. I want to enjoy my daily life with Namo Amida Butsu. So let's walk together Eshinni and Kakushinni's footsteps as an honest Buddhist woman and supporting this Honganji activity, activity 
for the next generation. Plant your nimble seed for your children, for your grandchildren, for your friends. Yoroshiku So once again, thank you very much for your attendance. So please put your hand together. Okage sama de. When we say Namu Amida Butsu, I feel countries Buddha throughout the ten quarters surrounding us a hundredfold rejoice in and protect us. Okage sama de. Many our ancestors work hard and receive this precious building. Okage sama de. We enjoy daily life with Namo Amida Butsu because our founder Shinran work hard, study hard. We are so grateful. Arigatai. Okay, let's recite Nembutsu with joy. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Namanda, Namanda, Namanda. Thank you, Reverend Soga, for a very interesting but a very educational one about how we should enjoy our living every day and remember that we are always surrounded by the Amida Buddha. Thank you, Sensei. Would you all rise and turn, turn to the Gatha with these hands on page 174 in this bound praises of the Buddha book and continue standing for the Nembutsu. For those who are new to our service, Nembutsu can be found on page 107.
grabs me. Yeah, the great compassion without tiring illumines me always. Please be seated. We'll now have an announcement from Cynthia Rodriguez. Cynthia. Good morning. So before I make any announcements, I'd like to introduce a new visitor. Anyway, Mr. Kukona, Kukon, wait, sorry, Kukona Lopes. He's the husband of Natasha and the father of Muaiva. Will you please stand? Welcome. Thank you. So thank you to our guest speaker, Reverend Soga and Reverend Burt, and also those of you that helped to make this morning service possible. Thank you also all of you for donating non-perishable foods for our spring food bank drive. Today is the last day and your donations will be de delivered to the Hawaii Food Bank by Allen. Okay, just a few reminders. This coming Saturday, as part of our Earth Day activity, we will be picking up rubbish along part of Ku'ule Road. We'll gather here at the temple on Saturday at 8.30, so please wear your WBT t-shirts or shirts, your blue shirts, and um, thank you for those who have signed up. We'll see you on Saturday. Next week is Remembrance Sunday and Earth Day service. There will be no service on May 1st due to the state Dharma Schools virtual gathering. An information flyer is posted on the board next door, so please consider joining this gathering. So are there any other announcements? Hi. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot. Uh, me a moment. My core head husband said, say hello to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, one thing I want to ask to everybody, please call me Mrs. Soga, not Reverend Soga. Hi. Hey, thank you, Mrs. Soga. <laughs> <laughs> So before we end our service and enjoy the refreshments, let us recite the words of thanksgiving, which can be found in your red service book on page 126. We are truly grateful for this wonderful food, a gift of life. May we share its benefits with all beings. As we partake of this food, let us remember Amida Buddha's compassion, which surrounds all people and all forms of life. Namo Amida Butsu. Itadakimasu. Thank you. Thank you.